Hi folks, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, I hope you are well. We're going to be playing a game on the ZX Spectrum. It's called The Great Escape, published by Ocean Software in 1986. Great music in this one, well at the start anyway. Also come out on the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64. It's very isometric and based on the movie that's come out in 1963, which I'm sure you've heard of. Now, you are prisoner in a prisoner of war camp, and essentially you must escape by collecting objects. So here I am here with all my other fellow officers. Um, mm. Now most of this, oops, I've been locked up in the brig for doing something wrong. Anyway, um, now you need to explore the war camp uh, on each separate day and getting items and unlocking certain things to escape but I haven't got a walkthrough here so it's been just me mainly walking around as a newbie um, and stumbling about. Now you see the flag in the left there depending on how high is that flying represents the men's morale in the camp. Are we going to get a great escape? Well no uh, but uh, we can play it regardless to see what I would have thought of it back in the day as a kid. So, you know, quite a large area to explore, but all of it in the prisoner of war camp. You will compass, uh, well, you'd uh, come up to four different types of people in this. So there's a commandant, which is essentially the, uh, um, the person in charge of the place, the uh, guards, fellow prisoners, and occasionally I think one might try and escape. So I'm wandering around here like a, like a fool, wondering what to do. There's not very good facilities in this prisoner of war camp. Now, if you had this one back in the day, let me know. I've gone inside this building. Now apparently, I'm not sure how you find it, but I do know on the first day, you have to collect a key, um, at, at the watchtower, wherever that is, um, and then do something else. Right, so yeah, as a kid, I would have played this in a bit bewildered, pretty much how I would have played Jet Set Willy, wondering what was going on. But it looks pretty good, it's in monochrome, which I would have expected, but there's a bit of colour around that. I like that barbed wire border around the, the play field. So it, look, it looks pretty much okay. The Great Escape, what a movie that was. Bom bom, bom bom, ba bom bom, bom bom, bom bom, ba bom 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 bom. Quite often adapted by the football when England are having a good run in the World Cup. Bom bom, bom bom, ba bom bom, Bom 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 bom. Nick, what you doing? I don't know. Anyway, Ocean Software 1986. If you have completed this one, uh, let me know. Now I know some people go a bit crazy in this game, particular watching this. Um, but I will say, if you're new to the channel, what I'll say once again is it isn't about expert gameplay um, for sure. It's about what your first or second go would have been like as a kid. Um, would you would there been enough there for you to go back to it? Would the graphics impress you? Would the sound impress you to go back? Or would you have just cried a bit and thought, oh, why have I spent my pocket money on this? Or why didn't I ask for a better um, game for Christmas or birthday or what have you? Um, so at the moment, I'm not dying straight away, so I'm walking around it. I'm finding it quite enjoyable, but not as enjoyable as games from Ultimate. But I think really this is um, trying to entertain kids that are a little bit cleverer than I were back in the day. So it's not just a straight uh, platformer. Uh, I think when that bell rings we need to go back to our bunk as well, which I'm not doing. So it's not just a straight non-thinking platformer or racer. This one you've got to think what you're going to do next, where you're going to go to, and all those sorts of bits and pieces. So the flag is, um, well it's gone red now, it's uh, not at the top of the mast, there's, there's one of the watchtowers there. If you have escaped from this place then let me know. Now there's a, oh, there's a dog on the outskirts there. I'm not making much progress here, I was hoping to find a key somewhere which uh, helped me um, unlock the watchtower, I think that's what happens. Right, come on, I don't know what this guy's name is. The, the Great Escape uh, used to be on every Christmas. Um, got Steve McQueen in it amongst a number of other people. Yes, not to get mixed up with Escape to Victory, which I think there was all footballers in a Prisoner of War camp. I think Pele was in the Prisoner of War camp. What's Pele doing in the Prisoner of War camp? I don't know. And uh, um, Sylvester Stallone was in there as well, as, as you are, and he, he played in goal. What a film that was. I do like a silly film which isn't supposed to be silly, but that, yeah, you know. Escape to Victory, I think that was, unless I'm getting my films mixed up, but I'm sure someone will correct me in the comment section, because they generally do. La la, la 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 la, didn't have a sequel this, so I presume they escaped. It's not just a normal escape, it's a great escape, but I do like the game called Escape, which is um, it's not a not a prequel to this one. It's uh, you run around a maze trying to um, pick up an axe, 
and escape by escaping dinosaurs. That's great fun, and that is super basic. I think from 1982, if memory serves me correctly. I had that one back in the day. So there's nothing in this room. Mm. I would have got back, back to this a few times, I think, as a kid. And then, I, because I was making no progress, I don't think I ever would have played it again. It's got the sort of like isometric of um, Gunfright, I suppose, on by Ultimate. But uh, Gunfright is a bit more, bit more fun in the Wild West, and you can get on a pantomime horse. You can't get on a pantomime horse in The Great Escape. No, they, they didn't allow that in the World War II prisoner of war camps. I don't know why. It would have been a good addition, wouldn't it, if I was on a pantomime horse now, going a bit quick. Hmm, war, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing, unless it's Star Wars, uh, the original trilogy. Yes. Hmm. Right, so I'm, I'm getting a little bit bored, which I don't want to be, because I see this is quite a clever game. It's scrolling quite well. It's puzzle orientated. I like the animation of that guy walking around, but maybe I should get closer to the other prisoners, or maybe I need a walkthrough. Who knows? I've read the instructions once, but I'm just wandering around. But it is day-based, and every time that bell rings, I think you need to go back to your, your bunk uh, and then start the day too. So you need to do separate things on separate days. So I, I would recommend I would recommend tracking this down, but also um, to save yourself a bit of time, try and track down a walkthrough as well. So at least you do the first few bits as those dogs are, are they pigs trying to get in? Uh, yeah, so even if you escape then, there's some mutant pigs outside ready to get you. Uh, Steve McQueen, I'm surprised he didn't get a motorbike and just jump over the top, that'd be a good system. If it was the A-Team, they would have been locked in one of the uh, the, um, the wards in the middle, and overnight they would have made a big tank with missiles and launched and escaped. But the A-Team the weren't in the Great Escape. If they had been, I've been arrested again. If they had been, then it would have been different. Now this game also came out on the Amshow CPC, talking 8 bits, and the Commodore 64. Not 100% certain if it come out on any 16-bit systems, but I believe this game was quite popular back in the day, so people obviously liked it a bit more than what I'm liking it, so perhaps they were true thinkers. Ah, and I'm not. But um, yeah, it's, 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 it's okay. The flag's getting a little bit lower. I mean, oh, there's a key there. Can we get back in there for the key? Right. Hmm, maybe it might be worth going back there. So, I've never been in a prisoner of war camp, uh, thank goodness. Different times. Different times. Right, now sometimes um, these guards or the prisoners can get in the way and you don't know where you're going. Uh, I, I'd, ideally, I'd like to build a tunnel. So let's see if I can get that key I saw. It was in here somewhere, wasn't it? Uh, mm, it was a key on the floor. I am sort of um, caught it out the corner of my eye. I do know you have to pick up a key first of all to get anywhere. Right, at the start. Maybe I dreamt it. Is it through here? Oh, there it is. There, can we pick that up? Fire button. Let's do a few things here. Uh, hmm. Oh, there we go. So in the bottom left there, I picked up a red key, which would be handy for attic attack. But uh, well, this isn't attic attack, which is which is a lot more fun, right? Um, hmm. Okay. Now back in the day, because you would have put more time into this than me. Um, literally, this is my first go, so please remember that. Um, so if you put a lot of time into this back in the day, you you might have got quite a bit more out of this thing. I can see it being a bit fun later on, as someone's in hot pursuit of us. I think it's Boy George from the eighties. Come a come a come a come a come a comedian. You come and go. Hello, Boy George. What's Boy George doing in a prisoner of war camp? Perhaps it isn't him. I thought he looked like he's wearing a beret or something. Right, he's gone. I didn't really want to hurt him. I didn't really want to make him cry. I didn't want to ruin his makeup. Um, and eat a meat pie. That, I think they're the words, aren't they? Hmm. Right. I'm not doing much great escaping. I'm doing. Um, I'm just wearing out my um, my shoes at the moment. Uh, you can't hear the footsteps in this. Uh, you can't go diagonally either. So it's isometric, and you can only go well left, right, up, and down, which isn't good if you're trying to escape a um, uh, prisoner of war camp. If you can't run diagonally, you will get caught really, really quickly. Now, you know, look at the holes in that, that barbed wire fence. I reckon if I was there, I think I could squeeze through that and escape. But then what? Oh, what's that? That's something. What does that do? That looks like some sort of like first aid kit or something. Is that a first aid kit? Or maybe I need to dump the key and pick that up instead. I think I picked that up before, didn't I? And dumped it there. I think that's what happened. I'm just, I'm just pressing, pressing buttons now. Right, let's go through here. And we walk through the door. We walk right through the door. Do 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 do. Right now, I've, I've yeah. 
Where do you go? I don't know no more. I don't think I can play this for too much um, longer, but it was nice to see. It was nice to see. Oh, we disappeared behind that building. So, you know, in isometric games go, I struggle with them sometimes. I think Night Law was the first one I sort of like played. But this is more open-ended than that. It scrolls with a big play area, whereas Night Law just had separate rooms. Um, this only has like, separate rooms when you go through some of the uh, the doors here. But it's well coded. It's quite impressive there for 1986. So I wouldn't have been disappointed with it, but it would just have bewildered me just that little bit. Um, you know, graphically, it's doing a lot here. So it's a good game, but not one for me, I don't think. Uh, mm, there we go. Yeah, I've, uh, I'm just uh, I'm just repeating the same old stuff now, aren't I? It's just a, a little bit of history repeated. So I don't think this is one really I could do on a uh, live stream that we've recently um, started doing. We've been doing a few months now, so catch up with them if you if you missed them. They're all they're all pretty good fun. Uh, Mondays ones tend to go up at well we do well we do ZX Spectrum ones, Commodore 64, Atari 2600. Um, there we go. Time permitting, I'll keep doing those if the support is there. If you're liking the channel, I will say it because it's all based on support. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. Uh, comments are good. I always tend to answer those. Uh, if you want to help it a little bit more, there's of course there's members memberships, where for um, well it starts off 1.99 I think, which is uh, dirt cheap. Uh, you get a video in the members section letting you know what videos are going up the following week. Uh, there and a few other bits as well so I think I think we will leave it there I can't get too much out of this so I hope you like to have a look at that game it is pretty good but you need to put in the hours to get the most out of it and it's not one that I would have spent too much time on I don't think so that was The Great Escape on the ZX Spectrum published by Ocean Software in 1986 got any comments about that game similar games or anything retro then please put that below you're always more than welcome until next time take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye goodbye